Chris Nolan has defended and said that he's not going to change the voice as such. He'll try and make the audio better so that people can hear Bane. Um, and I don't think it's a case of understanding because, you know, I did watch the, the prologue myself and yes, it was a bootleg version. So for me, it was difficult to understand, but that's because it was recorded in the cinema. Okay. If I was actually in the cinema watching it, it might have been a different story. We've seen the second trailer as well. We've heard Bane speak. Um, again, some people weren't too pleased with it, but let's just wait for the final, you know, let's just wait for when the film comes out. You know, we're all excited. We're all, we're all pumped up for this. This is the final chapter in Chris Nolan's trilogy of the Batman saga. So let's just enjoy it, okay? Um, what else do we have? What else do we have? There's so much going on. Um, the Resident Evil Retribution. This is the fifth and hopefully final instalment of the Resident Evil movies. And um, the trailer has just come out today. And wow. <laughs> I'm not going to say any more, but wow. Um, what else have we got? Um, TV news. Right. Now. Okay. Green Arrow is getting a pilot developed by the CW. They have greenlit, excuse the pun, um, a, a pilot for Green Arrow. Um, the show is actually just going to be called Arrow. Now, there's two ways you can look at that. Are they going to follow the same sort of steps that they did with Smallville? Because it is going to be an origin-based TV show. Um, so, is it a case of however many seasons it goes for? Should it get picked up for a series as at, at the moment all I, all I know is that they're just doing a pilot so they're just developing a pilot um, Greg Berlanti, Mark Guggenheim they're, they're both involved and David Nutter who directed the Smallville pilot is going to do the is also going to be on hand for this um, Arrow pilot as well Justin Hartley won't be involved so there's no ties to Smallville so for all you Smallville fans demanding that Justin Hartley become Oliver Queen in this new series forget it it's not gonna happen okay personally I prefer that it's a brand new fresh take no one connected to other series yes if you're gonna have I don't know if a guest star happens to show up on the show and it happens to be someone like I don't know Kristen Crook or Alison Mack we don't know who the characters they're gonna play are do we so it's not gonna be Lana Lang and, um, and Chloe Sullivan that's for sure so um, as I say, it'll be interesting to see how that one works out. Um, there's also a Dead Man TV series um, in development. I think they also green, wanted to green light the pilot for that. Um, obviously, Booster Gold is still in the air somewhere, so that's still out there. Um, what else have we got? I just had it in my head for a second there, and I've completely forgotten it. But as I say, it's interesting. It'll be interesting to see how the Arrow one goes. Um, I mean, ever since Smallville has finished, I haven't actually really been paying much attention to TV shows. Um, I've actually kind of stopped watching TV shows because there's nothing that's taking my fancy at the moment. And you know I'm all about superhero, comic book related TV shows at the moment. So um, when the pilot for this comes out, you know, if I can get, if I can watch it, then I'll watch it and then yeah, I'll let you know what I think of it. So hopefully we'll see, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm interested to see what, what it's going to do, where it's going to go, who's going to be in it. I don't know. I mean, someone even asked me through Twitter. They said, who would you like to see cast as Oliver Queen in this new series? And I'm like, to be honest, I haven't really given it much thought. As long as the show is really good and, you know, they they, they play their cards right, then great. The only problem that I have, CW and Warners, they, you know, you've got the Warners movie department and the Warners TV department. They do not like to to, to share things at all, whatsoever, okay? <laughs> they just don't like to share whatsoever. And it's kind of a strange thing when they're both subsidiaries of Warner Brothers Entertainment. So it's like, you know, one can't defeat the other. You've got, you've got to collaborate, and unfortunately they're not. And this is what pisses me off, because there is so much potential and so much that DC and Warner Brothers can do with the whole catalog of the superheroes that they've got not just Superman and Batman but Wonder Woman, Flash, Green Lantern, Green Arrow Aquaman, they've, they've got the catalog, they've got the means, it's all there it's just a case of getting up and running we all know what happened to Green Lantern last year and I'd rather not you know, go into that again 
Um, so yeah, <laughs> they just don't like to share, unfortunately. And I think it's time they did share, corporate monkeys. Anyway, I'm rambling, so I do apologise. Um, what have I been purchasing lately? Nothing fancy. I did buy, um, what did I get? What was the last things I bought? The Mummy Trilogy on Blu-ray, along with the Alien Anthology on Blu-ray, and also the X-Men Quadrilogy on Blu-ray as well. So, that's not too bad. <laughs> I've been a bit busy. Um, so, yeah, so it's all good. Um, but, yeah, um, I don't know how long this video has been going for, so I do apologise if you're still watching. I do feel sorry for you. Um, but that's pretty much it, game-wise. Okay, let's get on to some games, because I haven't spoken about games for a while, have I? Um, computer games, that is. Um, I have been playing Batman Arkham City, though I haven't actually played it for the past two weeks. Um, but I do love the game. The game is awesome. So, no, I haven't finished it, for anyone who's asking. Why have I not, have I not finished it? Because I have been solidly busy with DC Universe Online. <laughs> I can't help it. I have clocked up nearly a thousand hours of that game since it's since I played it in beta way back in November 2010. So yeah, that's a lot of hours. <laughs> Serious amount of hours. I'm I'm definitely losing the plot. But um yes, no, that game is it's going pretty well. Um ever since it went free to play towards the back end of last year, um it has been getting better. Um they've introduced the latest game latest updates uh which is involving re research and development or in other in other words crafting and um, let's just say a lot of the players have been getting pretty pretty busy buffing up their their characters um, I've even I've done it to a couple of mine as well so um, it's it's quite interesting um, people have been asking me what are my characters names on DC Universe Online okay I've got a total of six characters on there but only five of them I play quite a lot okay and the names are Ubermensch, Overman, Black Blur, Brick Vader, and Plastique. That's Plastique without the U-E, just the, the Q at the end. Okay, so each one, they all have their own sort of power set. Ubermensch is an ice tank. Uh, Overman is an electric healer. He was nature healer, but I've switched him to electric when the new DLC came out, and electric is awesome. Um, Black Blur is a gadget controller, um, Brick Vader is Ice DPS, and Plastique is just a fresh, brand new level 30 electric DPS. So, be interested to see how she goes when she gets really, really developed as time goes on. So, those are my characters. Um, so, if you want to hunt me down, <laughs> if I'm not too busy, We'll talk, okay, <laughs> right. So, but yes, no, as I say, the game is going really well. Um, I know that Star Wars, the, the the Old Republic MMO has been out for over a month, almost a month now. Um, so, oh, hang on, Ooh, apologies. Um, so I know a lot of players who have left DC have gone onto that and are quite enjoying it, so that's that's fine, but not me, I've, I'm sticking with DC. Um, it's actually, just last week actually, DC turned one year. It turned a year old on, on online and um, it's impressive that it's it's done so well for the first year so yes it's an MMO it's ha it has its ups and downs what MMO doesn't have its ups and downs you know um, but it's still going strong there's still people who are still on there from day one as I say I've been on there since day one you know and I'm still loving it I'm still loving it so yes you you learn something new every day when you're on an MMO it's as simple as that anyway as I say I might have to split this video into two <laughs> I do apologize but anyway Tomorrow night, I am going to see, finally, Underworld Awakening in IMAX 3D. Kate Beckinsale is back as Celine. I can't wait. Children, it's been a pleasure. Look, look out for the review tomorrow, and I'll see you all later. Goodbye.